hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm giving you a little curly tease a little short short curly tease baby i'm going to show you how to achieve this look from start to finish we use the boho max i'm going to be showing you how to use that and some changes that we are going to be doing with that make sure you subscribe comment and like below okay so this is an 18 inch body weight that i am about to customize it's really thick so I'm going to thin it out and I'm going to cut it first, going to cut it down so I can work with it because at the end it's going to be a really short cut like you saw in my intro. So I just want to cut it down and get it short. Now I'm going to thin it out like I was describing. I'm going to use Nair. I'm actually going to use Nair. I'm going to put this all throughout the inside. I'm going to go really, really fast. And then I'm going to rinse it out. I'm only doing this because I want to thin it out. I don't want to have to tweeze it that much. This will loosen it up. You have to go really, really fast. If you're not used to using Nair, you want to practice with this first. Don't try to run out the gate doing this because it's very advanced. Okay, so now I'm going to check it to make sure it is doing exactly what I want it to do. And it is. Some of the hair is shedding out just like I expected. So now I am going to further customize it. I want to create a slight widow's peak in the front. And I'm going to use Nair to do that as well. Sometimes with my units, I do a little extra. You know, this may be a little time consuming for a lot of people, but I really like for my units to look good. So I do go the extra mile. Here again, I'm using the Nair. I'm applying it just like I've done in previous videos here on my channel. This is just going to make my job easy. Uh, I've also shown you guys what this looks like if you just cut it out. I'm actually going to cut it out on here and show you what you could do if you decide to cut it first. And then you see those knots that you don't want. I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. All right, and just like that, the hair comes out so easy with the Nair, and I have my custom hairline. Now, this wig had an adjustable band in the back. I want to remove that. This is the area where I'm going to show you where I'm just going to cut it, but I'm still going to Nair it because I don't want all of those little black dots there that I have to deal with. And you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this out. I've already tried this on. It fits me perfectly where I'm cutting it, so I'm not going to have a problem with the fit. So I do. Okay, so here are the knots that I was describing. I want those off of there, so I'm just going to nair them off. You can go up under, you can go on top, but I don't want to have to tweeze those knots off. So this nair really just makes your job so much easier, and you can look and see it's all clean. And now I'm ready to bleach my knots. Okay, so now I'm going to bleach the knots. If you notice, I don't have the wig pressed against anything. Now I'm going to layer it with plastic. I'm going to stuff it with a towel and roll it over so that gravity does not take control of the bleach and it bleeds. If you notice here, I'm already ready to roll and now I can go ahead and get my curl pattern going. I'm going to use some perm rods and I'm actually going to perm the hair. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you choose a perm that is going to work for you. I'm choosing these rods right here because this is my desired size. I'm going to rod it completely. 
and I'm using Retkin. This is what I'm familiar with. This is what I like to use. I'm going to follow the manufacturer's instructions located in the inside of the box. I'm going to let it process and I'm going to generate my curls. Here they are, baby. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the cut. I'm going to cut the sides at a 45 and the top. I'm going to blend it with the sides and go back in and cut the top at 90. Make sure you refer to some of my previous haircutting videos so that you understand some of the technical terms that I'm using. Uh, I come from a professional background, so you'll be seeing me use certain type of products and, you know, using certain type of terms so that you can get a better understanding of what I'm doing. Make sure that you do view all of my videos. All right, so now it's time to try it out. I'm going to tint the lace just slightly. The lace was a little lighter. I'm using a caramel boho lace tint. And what you want to do is spray it until it reaches your skin tone. This is for my color. It was previously transparent. I'm going to clean with the 91% alcohol and use my Skin Protect. As we did in previous videos, I'm using my boho lace wig tape on the sides in the areas that usually come up. Make sure that you cut the tape properly, leaving that slit in the middle so that you can peel away at it. And I'll demonstrate exactly what I mean when you place it on here. I'm actually placing it in two places. This is just where, it, you know, the hair usually lifts a lot so I want to get an additional hold in those areas. Now when you peel away with it you should be able to peel it from the middle so you shouldn't have a problem. Now I'm going to be using a bowl hole max and if you notice this one has a brush attached you want to make sure that you let the glue slide down before you totally pull it out or you're going to have a mess notice how easy that was but you have to take your time guys also we will have the nozzle if you're going to use a nozzle, you can use a spatula. Make sure you use a small amount and take your time. That is most important about doing hair replacement and using glues. You really have to take your time. It takes patience to get this technique to look as flawless as possible. Now I'm going to get a little assistance with applying it in the back. I'm applying it to the cap and to my skin. I'm going to do up to three layers. You really don't need that many layers. Make sure that the layers are very thin. If you notice, we're not leaving it looking, you know, bubbly. We're laying it flat and the spatula helps with that as well. Make sure in between services you are cleaning the nozzle. You can use a little alcohol to clean that off and keep it closed so it lasts.
Okay, so I'm having my assistant help me. I like for it to be applied in the middle back first, and then I'll work my way from left to right. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white eyeliner and I'm going to create dots so I know exactly where I want to put my glue. So you can use a brush or you can use a spatula. Whatever you choose, just make sure it's flat and even. After the first layer, I want to take the corner of my towel and some alcohol and I want to remove the dots because now I know where to put my additional coats. Once you get the unit down in place, I'm going to cut my baby hairs. You don't have to cut baby hairs, but I always do. I feel like it makes it look, look more natural, even if I'm not going to wear a baby hair. I just feel like nobody's hair is really that long across the front of their face. Now, when using a silicone glue, you may get a little shine. If you want, you can use a translucent powder to go in and knock off some of the shine. Make sure you don't use too much or it will turn white. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below.